Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Apple. The report was first published on our website February 1, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video we give you the information you need to know about Apple for the upcoming trading day on Wednesday 2nd, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Apple performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Apple stock currently holds a 2.066 score, and our system has ranked Apple by candidate since January 31, 2022. In this period the stock has not performed as our systems expected and actually had a loss of minus 0.10% so far. This is an average return of minus 0.05% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Apple our last headline reads, Red day on Tuesday for Apple stock after losing 0.0973%. The Apple stock price fell by minus 0.0973% on the last day, Tuesday, February 1, 2022, from $174.78 to $174.61. During the day the stock fluctuated 1.47% from a day low at $172.31 to a day high of $174.84. The price has fallen in 8 of the last 10 days, but is still up by 2.83% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 29 million shares and in total, 85 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $14.89 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $182.94 and the lowest price was $116.21. Right now the price is 4.55%, or $8.33, below 52-week high and 73.19%, or $476.65, below all-time high June 6, 2014, where the price hit $651.26. The Apple Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock, but first the trends. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 12.84% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 4.14% and 22.68%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 37.42% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 23.21% and 46.98%. This equals a price between $215.14 and $256.65 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Monday, January 31, 2022 the Goldman Sachs Group set target to $161. On Monday, January 31, 2022 Credit Suisse Group set target to $150 to $168. On Friday, January 28, 2022, Robert W. Baird set target to $185 to $190. On Friday, January 28, 2022, New Street Research set target to $165. On Friday, January 28, 2022, Canaccor Genuity Group set target to $185 to $200. From analysts, Apple stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Apple stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Apple. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. The Apple stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock, 
but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $165.72 and $172.40. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, January 27, 2022, and so far it has risen 9.67%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day, and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a buy signal four days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal six days ago. The short term moving average for the three month chart gave a buy signal four days ago. The long term moving average for the three month chart gave a buy signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three month chart gave a buy signal 12 days. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average gave a buy signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal 77 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 75 days. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $172.19, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $2.53 between high and low, or 1.47%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 3.4%. The stock has a beta of 1.39. This tells us that Apple is 0.39 times more volatile than the market. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Apple. The price to earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Apple currently has a price earning ratio of 28.39. This is a relatively normal price to earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Apple meets first resistance at $175.08. If you do not hold Apple shares, you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock, this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn, Apple finds first level of support at $172.19 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are buy at $172.95, $172.36, Sell at $174.89, $175.48, The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Apple is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On November 12, 2021, Condo Chris made an inside sell of 9,005 of common stock. On November 9, 2021, Gorski Alex made an inside buy of 486 of restricted stock unit. On November 1, 2021, Adams Catherine L. made an inside sell of 3,290 of common stock. On November 1, 2021, Adams Catherine L made an inside sell of 21,710 of common stock. On October 19, 2021 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 165,829 of common stock.
Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 26.646. In total, the insiders bought 7,396,586 and sold 13,780,851 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $167.59, minus 4.02%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found three days ago. Is Apple stock a buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Apple stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Wednesday 2nd we expect Apple to open down negative 69 cents and start trading at $173.92. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.